I had been meaning to watch the computer wore tennis shoes for such a long time and I finally got round to it. I was in two minds about whether or not I would watch the original film um, from 1969 or if I was going to watch the one from 1995. I feel like these would be very, very different films and I will watch the other one and I absolutely will. But I feel like they're going to be very different because the computer and what it can do in 1995 is vastly different to what it could do in 1969. So I'm very curious to see how they compare. But for just now, I'm focusing on the 1995 version. And the reason I chose this one, quite simply, is because I wanted to see Kirk Cameron in something. I, I don't believe I've ever seen him in anything. Um, he might have had a... He had a cameo in Full House, didn't he? Or Fuller House. I'm sure he did. But other than that, I could be lying about that. My memory's vague. Other than that, this is the first time I've seen him in anything. And I have to say, he's pretty great. He plays this character called Dexter. Um, Dexter is clearly an individual who has a lot of potential. Um, he's very kind of smart and quick-witted in certain regards. But he's a bit lazy when it comes to doing homework and reports and studying for tests. But one day during a storm, um, he's trying to plagiarise somebody's work to hand in a, as an assignment. And the computer goes down. He goes to plug it back in again. And there's like an electrical surge. And the entirety of the internet is loaded up into his brain. Now, even though that's the internet in 1995, which was not as colossal as it is now, that's still a lot of information. And what surprised me about this is that he very quickly informs his teachers of this. Um, not immediately, but they wonder why he's acing these tests and things. And because he should be failing, given his track record. And he, you know, explains what happened. And they start to kind of use this to their advantage, entering in, you know, um, like university challenge type competitions and things. And... You know, it's, it's all about how far is he going to be able to use this knowledge and what will he learn from it? And will he ever, will, will, will he keep this knowledge forever? I'm not going to answer any of those questions because I do recommend it. I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was really great, but my strongest emotion was just jealousy. I would love, I would love to, up, I mean, I'm aware that be careful what you wish for. If I had all of the knowledge of the internet in my brain, there would be some things that I'd probably rather not know and it would plague my my brain and my thoughts. I get that. But in theory, if I could have all of that knowledge just from the internet poured into my brain, I'd love it. Um, so I think it's a pretty great concept. I was really excited to see what they do with the information. Admittedly, they could have made it a bit more exciting. They could have held back the fact... You know, he. I think he explained quite quickly, quite early on, what had happened. I'd rather they'd kept it back a little bit longer, or maybe even for the entirety of the film, save I'm assuming the ending. Um, they'd have to kind of reveal it at some point. But if they'd kept it back for a bit longer and made him have a bit more fun with this knowledge where nobody else knew what had happened except him, I think that would have been a bit more exciting and allowed for a lot more fascinating and unique and unpredictable situations. Nevertheless, I think the narrative progresses quite well. It's quite interesting to see this information being utilised in different situations. Dexter O'Reilly as a character, I liked. I really liked it. Um, I thought Kurt Campbell was brilliant. I can't really fault it in any specific way. You know, yes, I would rather have done the um, done it my way, withholding the truth back a little bit longer and letting him have a bit more fun. But what was presented works well. Um, you know, it's well directed, well acted. It's directed by Peyton Reed. It's a good film. It's enjoyable. Um, I liked it. It's written by Ryan Rowe, and I think the narrative works well. I'm looking forward to watching the 1969 one. I genuinely can't imagine what this one would be like. Um, I feel like it would be a lot different, but we'll see. We'll see what that one's like. Um, but for now, I'm pretty happy with the Computer War Tennis Shoes 1995. Happy with my first proper introduction to Kirk Cameron. As a Disney film from the 90s, pretty classic, pretty standard, good fun, not the best. You know, it's, there are flaws here and there, but generally I think you will really enjoy it.